So you work in the open source community at Red Hat. I do. What projects are you working on? I'm working on RDO, which is a downstream of the OpenStack project. Um, OpenStack is big and scary and complicated, <laughs> and uh, um, there are a number of vendors that provide a way to kind of tame that, and RDO is one of those efforts. It's a uh, a community packaging of OpenStack by f and for the CentOS community. Okay. So we're packaging it for CentOS and, and Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Great. So OpenStack was announced actually at OSCON five years five ago. Five years ago. So how have you seen the project evolve? And I know you've not always been directly involved, but right, I wasn't. I've, I've only been involved for about two and a half years. Okay. And one of the shifts that I've seen just in that time is. People, when I first got involved, there was a lot of talk about how this would be a great thing someday if it ever worked. Mm -hmm. And this year and a little bit last year, you see a lot of companies that are that are betting on it, that they're relying on it, that it's a that's something they can actually use in production. Yeah. And the conversation is definitely shifting toward people using it rather than talking about proof of concepts and maybe using it someday. Mm -hmm. So it's it's uh, it's only five years old, but it's it's maturing very quickly, and and the community around it is just skyrocketing Gotten in size. Gotten much bigger, yeah. yeah. So, in addition to working at Red Hat, you also um, are the executive vice president of the Apache Software Foundation. So That's right. How does that play into your role? Um, you know, working in open source, being at OSCON. You know, how has that sort of evolved over the years too? Well, I've been involved with Apache since probably 94 or 95 yeah. back when the web server was first um, was first, first being made. released <laughs> yeah. and uh, I I met a lot of people through the Perl community which is what OSCON came out of mm -hmm. who were uh, real advocates for um, sorry I'm drawing a blank um, I, I met a lot of people through the Perl community that were were real advocates for treating beginners as though they were important people, mm -hmm. and uh, that that kind of fueled my uh, passion for for documentation and for helping people get started in open source communities, and uh, and that's a lot of what I do today mm -hmm. is is uh, more community facing than code facing. Um, encouraging people to get involved in the project, encouraging people to make the right connections, to take that first step, make that first commit. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the people that attend OSCON are the people that encouraged me when I was first getting started and had no idea what I was doing. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've kind of made a point today to go around and, and talk to some of those people and say, hey, you know, 15, 20 years ago, you're the person that said to me, yeah, go ahead, give it a try. Yeah. <laughs> and and here I am. So so this this community is very integral to you know, the fact that I have a career. Yeah. Um and the Apache community is is uh similarly connected to that. So having been to many of the Oscons yeah. and the first one that came out of the Pearl conference. There's definitely been a shift because, you know, mid to late 90s, enterprise versus open source, mm -hmm. it was a lot different than it is today, and a big theme of this year's OSCON has been the idea of, well, open source is one. So what does that mean? What does that mean for companies that are now um, bringing in open source as part of their internal um, cultures? You know, we hear a lot about inner source. We hear a lot of, you know, comparisons to the Apache Software Foundation in general that companies like PayPal are using. So how, what is your take on the fact that you know, open source is one? So what is the next stage in, in the community and the next big, you know, next big thing? Well, one of the things that, that I think we need to do in the coming years is make sure that people actually understand um, the, the principles behind open source and aren't just using it as a marketing ploy, mm -hmm. um, we we do see companies that are that are open sourcing their product in order to have a marketing buzz around that. Yep. But they don't they don't actually open it to the community. They don't invite the community to participate. They don't have an open development model, and so there's still some education to do. Um, you know, we need to not simply say, "Yay, we've won," mm -hmm. and uh, 
uh, allow our principles to be co-opted by people that are that don't really understand what's behind it. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that's been interesting to watch is uh, now that open source is accepted as the right way to develop software, you see a lot of companies that are hiring people to work on open source projects who themselves don't understand the concept. They're just they're they're working on the project. Um, for a paycheck, which is a great, absolutely a great thing, and I, I really encourage businesses to do that. Mm -hmm. But um, within Red Hat, the group that I'm in within Red Hat, one of our mandates is to educate people that come into the company as to what open source actually is, mm -hmm. so that they understand the the ideals behind it, yeah. as well as as just the fact that your code is in the public. Exactly, it's also a collaboration that's at the heart of that. Mm -hmm. So that it's not just a buzzword and part that's of right, a yeah. hype. So what are you, you know, in terms of software development, web development, the tools that are changing, new things that are evolving, you know, OpenStack being sort of a nascent technology, but that's already gotten this vibrant community. Mm -hmm. What are other things that you're most excited about right now working in open source? Well, you know, at the Apache Foundation, we've grown from one project to 300 mm -hmm. projects. Yeah. And it's always exciting to see the new ones coming in. Okay. And uh, something that I've found interesting watching over the last few years is when when you work on a project like the Apache Web Server, you can you can work on it and build it and test it on one machine. Mm -hmm. And the the projects that are that are coming up these days involve hundreds of machines to build and to deploy and to test. And so that kind of scale is something that's been really exciting to watch. And of course, you see that in, in OpenStack where every commit gets tested on thousands of virtual machines. Yeah. And uh, you see that to a lesser degree on, on some of the smaller projects. But it's that, it's that enormous scale that has been really cool to watch. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for joining me. All right, thank you.